What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere. Welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. Today, we are going to be diving back into our factorial playthrough. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to smash that like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, if you want a little bit more one on one content or you have some questions about this playthrough or any other strategy game I might be playing, I stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash bedivere. If you need a link to all my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, everything, it's all in the description down below. All right, let's dive back into our playthrough down here. Uh, in the last episode, which I will put up in the right hand corner, we basically set the foundations for the very beginning of our nuclear of our nuclear power setup we finished our our mining setup and now we just need to train to bring this ore up to our eventual um uranium ore processing as well as the covrex processing uh we put the tail end of our nuclear setup here we're going to need to landfill this area just to make it clean and it'll go all the way up through the lake um, and then I'll have a train kind of going back and forth here with all the, the nuclear fuel cells, but we will get to that. Uh, the first things first is we need to set up a couple trains here. This, this train right here is going to be our, uh, uranium ore train. And then this train right here is going to be our iron, iron plate train. Um, and I don't have, I don't have any iron being like smelted into plates yet. That might be an issue. That might be a big issue. I might have to just temporarily take off of this belt because this doesn't need a whole lot of iron plate and it won't need it until we actually make the fuel cells. So this can be a little, a really, really temporary setup that to, to just take some iron plate off the main bus. I think that's a plan, um, but we'll start with the uranium. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of make clear a path for us for our trains to leave our station perfect and then obviously in this case they only will go down but let's just plan for the future and have an output going out that way and then going back down. And then let's add, let's add our, add our crossing rails so that we can just add our signals while we're here. So that, that those are done. Um, chain signal, input crossing. I'm gonna start here and there. Crossing, 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 finishing, okay? and there and those those signals are done now let's go to the input and does a full train fit here yes it does right there okay cool let's go to our um input lane right here and then we'll, we will add signals for each of the depots or not depots but train stops there we go all right, let's clear these trees. Perfect. Almost done. Oh, we can't be can't be destroying our own car. All right. Let's park right there. Ooh, sorry. And then connect this up to our main rail line. Um, that's gonna need input from the right hand drive here, as well as output there. And we will have to delete these signals. We'll add our rails just temporarily so that we can get all the signaling done. Oops, sorry. All right, those are good. And then where is everything finishing up? So outbound, good, outbound, good. It's gonna be there. That's That can be like that. That's fine. 
put some light and then the tougher part uh input to a crossing 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 oh forgot the app on there there's another crossing boom all right that should be good to go is that the yeah let's fix up our car whoops sorry and then where's going to be the best place to bring in power i'll just bring it in here there and then i'll just drive all alongside it boom that's connected those two are connected there and then let's add our train station and let's name it okay so this is going to be uranium processing and then this is also going to be uranium processing but this is going to be iron plate. Boom. All right, so while we're down here, we should probably just actually put down the red lines. And then I will, once we place down all our centrifuges, I'll, I will explain the blueprint I know I said at the beginning, I want to, you know, hand build as much as I can. The thing with uranium though, is that, or uranium processing, um, uh, not really uranium processing. The, the ratio is actually pretty easy. Um, it's just a little tedious to, to hand build everything, but I'll go through the ratios and how everything like this works. Um, and how this consumes a full, full red belt of uranium ore. um, and then the the Covrex processing is just a little bit of it's a it's a feeling to it of you know how many you need this is going to be a little bit overkill for the very beginning but whatever we're we're planning we're planning for a mega base so so that's what we're here for um i probably should have added the inserters but that's fine i'll, I'll i'm gonna go and get some of the um machines Oh, actually, what I should do is I should connect the rails while I'm here. And then let's connect this down. Or connect like at least a little bit of the rails just while I'm driving. There we go. And then probably same thing going back up, right? There we go. It's so one thing about the highway system is that it can be a little bit tedious to set up without robots, but the first kind of and you don't, you just definitely don't need, oh shit. Uh, you definitely don't need four lanes uh, to start off at all. But once you get, start getting a bunch, a bunch of trains going, you know, that right hand drive or right hand priority of, of the right lane exiting while the left lane continues. Uh, for our, all you uh, UK people, it'd be the opposite. Um, but here in North America, that's, it seems just natural that that's how it should operate. Where left lane is the passing lane, right lane is the exit lane. So essentially a little highway. All right, let's go back to our main base. And I don't know why I just went above that lake. Let's weave through the trees. Ooh, there we go. Okay, and we are short on, on our ore. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the topic of a later episode. 
Okay, so let's pick up all the supplies that we will need. We will need centrifuges, a lot of them. How many do we need? Uh, I don't even have a radar. Damn it. Um, but we will need stack inserters, fast inserters. Those are good. I'm going to need the filter inserters. I'm going to take a stack of those plus a little bit extra. Why not? Um, I'm going to take a few more stack inserters just because I know that we're going to need them in the future. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of steel chests as well. And then red belts. Steel chests. Uh, why do we have so much? I guess. I'll take all of it just because I know that we'll need it in the future. Uh, and then we will take, we got underground belts. We got the splitters. We will take a bunch of these. That seems like enough. We'll recycle some of the yellow splitters. Don't need pipes. Um, let me just look at the blueprint. That might make it easier. Uh, we're going to need trains. We're going to need our uranium train. Yeah, our you're, we're gonna need our trains. We already have one. Let's add a let's add a second one, just so that we have, and we'll we'll place down our iron plate train, just so that we have it. So that's eight. Wait for one more to be produced. There we go. Right, that's sixteen. Yeah. All right. How are we doing on signals as well? Uh, a little light on the chain signals. We always need more chain signals than we do rail signals. All right, let's head back over. Start setting all of this up and then we can get our Covrex processing over and done with. And then if we have time, I'll, I'll, add, the, I'll add the iron train. And then in the next episode, while Covrex starts um, while Kovrex starts, you know, heating up, uh, heating up doesn't make any sense. Um, cause it, it takes a long time for it to, to start going and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get started on robots cause I know that's something that I, a lot of you would want to see. And I don't know if I have enough. I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. Damn it. We're going to have to go back. Let me just add this stuff. Boom. We'll delete that. Delete that. I'll add all this kind of intermediate stuff here. Let's add some lights. And that's one thing I love about the blueprints is you can blueprint something and you see here that the filter inserters already have their whitelist, right? So if you have a blueprint that already has it set and you just place the inserter, it'll automatically place that filter onto the the given inserter which is a fantastic little quick quality of life thing that you wouldn't think makes a difference but it helps so much all right that's fine that's good to go and then i'm gonna just stop the belts here Add some power poles just while we have them. Boom. All right. Let's go back, see how many we have created in our mall. How many do we got? We got two more. What is it waiting on? Oh, yeah. The, uh, the concrete. The concrete here is the bottleneck. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and start with all the inserters. And then I'll power everything up. And light everything as well since it's it's daytime so might as well do that now and then we'll power everything and we're gonna get some we're gonna get some power spikes we're gonna be consuming a lot less or a lot more power than we are producing and that's that's 
that's the result of not doing solar to, to kind of supplement ourselves as we transition into nuclear power. But I stopped the research. Our factory is not running at 100%. So that should help in our energy consumption. But I wanted to, I usually like just going straight to nuclear, not dealing with solar and you know how many solar panels you actually have to place down in order to get any sort of power output so that's why i usually like going straight straight to nuclear all right so this will go get filtered out and then go up to our covrex processing stuff all right let's go ahead and i'm actually gonna place all of the power poles that i need just so that that's done. Obviously, we don't we don't need this second row of of processing just yet. But actually, in the mid in the in the very beginning, when we're just counting on the percentage um, chance of getting a uranium two thirty five, having a second row actually might might be beneficial, just to sheer blunt you know blunt force blunt force it. All right, so let me go through the ratio while we're waiting on some more of these centrifuges to be made. All right, so we're gonna have ore coming down the middle. Centrifuges are gonna be taking that ore, processing it to either your uranium-235, which is used for our power, or 238, which is kind of a, a waste product. Not really a waste product, but you don't really need it, use it for anything. Um, or it's not like the power, it doesn't have the power, you know? All right, so uh, this process, every 12 seconds, it'll process 10 uranium ore. All right, so for, for 12 centrifuges, we consume 10 uranium ore. The red belts, if you see in the right lower right hand corner, can, er, can transport 30 items per second. So by doing a little bit of math, 30 in order to fully consume 30 uranium ore per second or one full red belt, we need to multiply that 12 second crafting time by three, right? So then we need 36 centrifuges. So 12 centrifuges will consume 10 per second, right? If they're each, each, if each of the 12 are processing at 12 per second, if you have 12 of them, it's one process per second, right? That makes sense. Um, and that'll consume 10 uranium ore. So we just triple that. So we need 36 centrifuges per line in order to fully consume a red belt. And that's 36 right there. All right, uh, let's check up to see if we have those centrifuges made yet. We have, we have four. All right, so we need five to start that last one. Uh, let me power everything up. That's one thing that so that y'all can see. All right, so those are powered up. Then I'll just walk you what, what happens. So every 10 seconds, right, there's a 0.7 chance that you'll get a uranium-235 and a 99.3% chance of getting uranium-238. It's not a great percentage, so you need to run the process a lot of times in order to get enough uranium-235 to where it's self-sustainable and i'll 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 go through kind of the self-sustainability once this covrex process begins um and then so the ore will come here stop at the end and then all the uranium or the processed uranium will go on the outbound go down this middle lane and then go into this filter buffer system so these filter stack inserters will take out the uranium-238 put it into these chests and then filter out this way. And then the uranium-235 will get filtered out on this side and then go on this side. So the 238 will stay on the left side of the belt and the 235 will stay on the right side of the belt. Just so that, you know, if we have a backup of the bad, the bad uranium-238, if we have a backup of that, it doesn't, it doesn't stop the flow of the, the powerful uranium-235, if that makes sense. So if you split them, one backup doesn't cause a backup in the other, right? Because we need, we need both of them to flow independently in this process. All right, so let's go back. We'll get our centrifuges. Uh, let's actually, do I have coal? I need coal because I need to start up this train. 
but I won't send the train off just yet. Because I want you guys, I want you guys to see what we're actually going to do. All right. So let's fuel this train. One, two, three, one, two, three. Boom. Uh, this train is going to start at or dash uranium until it has a full cargo and then go to uranium processing, just the regular one, until it has an empty cargo and it's going to loop through that. All right. Now let's go down to our mall. We get the rest of, its, of the centrifuges going and then do I have any... I do have assembling machines, which is good. Do I have the fast one researched? I do not yet. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I know I said I wouldn't start the power in order to keep our factory idle and use less power. I don't know why I keep going all the way across. I need to follow my rails. Whoop. Tokyo Drift. Um, all right. Then we'll see if we have, I mean, it's almost done. And what we'll also do is we'll, we'll grab a bunch of the materials needed to start, um, nuclear. Uh, do I have a chest here? Ooh, I don't. Um, let me take that concrete and just plop it into here because we need all the concrete we, we can get there. All right. We got, we got a decent amount. Um, the output chest on this will go here and let's uh, cap that. We're only going to need two reactors anyways to start off. Uh, I think I need 20 of these. Let's just get 30 just in case. Going to need all of these. And let's get... Screw it. We'll, we'll take all of those. Uh, we'll grab the six centrifuges. That should be good to go. Um, let me actually stop this production. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, and then we're also going to need pipes. Pipes and water pumps. Where's our water pumps? Do we have any water pumps? Let's go here. Okay, so we got 15 down there. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's take 200 pipes and like a little bit of underground. So yeah, that's fine. So I think we have everything. Uh, let's get rid of that chest. We don't need that. And then let's recycle these undergrounds. And then that's our automation done. So let's go ahead and just add that to the bus while we're while we're here. Um, this stuff. Oh, right when I right when I get rid of my underground belts. Uh let's take let's take a little bit there. These and we'll start this production here. And those are gonna direct insert into here because that needs these require both both um circuits and then that'll start making it only needs four so i might wait for one to be ready so that i could place them here that was good we got the power we got all that stuff i just would hate to go all the way over there we need let's let's get a couple more rails that's fine all right Oh, I need an output there. Oop, that's what I was forgetting. Output. Whoops. Let's place that here. Hmm. There you go. Taking it. That's good to go. And then that'll start. Jesus, that'll start <laughs> making assembly, the Mark III assembly machines. <laughs> I love that. You just, just crash. You just crash. 
All right. Oh, and then we'll uh, we'll start our train. All right. Let's send this bad boy to the uranium ore. We will add the center the centrifuges here, and then I will also add two on this side. Boom. Now let's look at the train, pick up all the all the lovely spicy ore. All right. Oh, that's sexy. That's sexy. That's beautiful. And how look at how quickly that's just filling up. All right. Excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and add all this stuff. And then once the ore starts coming in, I will explain what this is actually doing. I'll just add it to those two. That's fine. All right. So the ore is coming. In. Oh, I don't have. I don't have blue inserters there. Dang it. Let's just go all the way down so that this can quickly get resolved. Then I'll just delete. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that's going to go down. I'm hoping that we can get, you know, uranium-235 right off the bat just for watching. Or while we're watching, not just for watching. <laughs> while we're watching. Okay, so this will come down. I'll kind of walk you guys through the process of what's actually going to happen. All right, so there's the uranium-238. We already got a few of them. We don't have a 235 yet, but we did have a 0.7% chance. So let's not get our hopes up. And then that's gonna come down, get filtered out. And then this will be a little buffer buffer system. And then it'll go down and then come into this machine here. All right, so this Covrex processing, this is the recipe. It takes 40 uranium-235 and only five of the uranium-238 and 60 seconds of crafting time to produce 41 uranium-235 and two uranium-238. So the net result of this process is plus one uranium-235 and minus three uranium-238. So in the long run, this will consume uranium-238 and produce uranium-235 out of thin air right um so that in the long run will make up for the lack of 238 here and this will actually just keep on running without this really needed to be honest Ooh, there's the first one okay you see that first one boom oh that makes me happy all right let's go down i actually want to bring let's bring the whole line down just to empty the buffer a tad. And then this is where the uranium fuel cells used for power are going to be made. All right, so it needs 10 uranium plate, only one of the, the uranium 235 and 19 of the uranium 238. So everything consumes uranium 238 at a decently high rate. And that's the thing that's gonna be most produced. At In the end of this, we're actually gonna produce an excess of uranium-235. Um, so that will get made. And then our output is gonna be going along this line here. And these uranium fuel cells will eventually go all the way down to our power plant here. Let's go ahead and add a radar, because I know I'm gonna forget. Where's the best place to do it? Probably right here. 
boom. So now this whole factory has radar coverage. And then while I'm here, actually, I might, I might want to make just a temporary, do I have iron plate? Oh, I don't even have iron plate. Oh, there's another one. So this will take a while to, to build up in order to make it. But once it starts making one, it'll run forever, right? Because it needs 40 uranium 235 to start and it produces 41. So as long as one's running, it'll continuously make more uranium 235 and then it'll leak into the rest, right? So what this will do is I got a filter inserter that'll only take the uranium 235 out this way and then the 238 will go directly back onto the belt and the 235 will directly be inserted back into this process instead of like going on the belt, going through the filter and then all the, coming all the way around and risking like clogging it up. So it'll take all 41 of it produced, kind of daisy chain it back and back into here. And this won't hold anything, but this, this uh, blue inserter won't put it back onto the belt until this chest has 40 or more uranium. So it's always gonna, this little loop will always have a backup of uranium uh, 235, 40 to start, to jumpstart this, right? That's the, that's the buffer that it, it'll always have. And anything above that, it'll recycle into the system. And then once it has, you know, that 40 buffer, and then there's also a buffer in here, it'll never need any more uranium-235 than it already has, and it'll just start pumping out uranium-235. And then we're gonna add speed modules to this so that it, it takes less than 60 seconds to actually make. Um, let's set this recipe to the uranium fuel cell. Um, well, actually, I don't even need to do like a, a temporary one. I can just set up our our train to take some iron plate from from the belt from the belt um let's go ahead and do that i mean why not it's going to be overkill but it's only going to be a temporary setup regardless uh, where's our car there perfect and then we just let that run how much power do we have we're running at you know less efficiency but but see we're already at for uranium-235 in there. So it's only it's only gonna be a matter of time. So we just gotta let that run. Let's make a, let's see, a train. There we go. I knew I, I, knew I brought an extra train. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Uh, we need to fuel it. Let's go ahead and we'll just do a half stack because we'll refuel that near the main bus and we'll keep the rest for our car. And then we'll take our our wagons here we go we already got the <laughs> the blue blue inserters there that's good to go this will be uh we'll, we'll set the stations up after we're, we're done with our temporary iron plate station let's go down oh i'm doing the same thing again let me just follow follow my highway that's the point of it. We'll go down. We'll make a little temporary station like, yeah, right about, right about here. That's fine. We'll bring in a red line like so. And then that'll be split into, we'll split that into four, like right here. Um, split that into four lines. Like so. There we go. And then each of these lines will need to be split as well. So this line split into two. Let's move that down. Then this line will need to be split into two as well. guessing this will be fine like so all right 
Let's build, let's get the, just the spacing on, on how much we'd need. Uh, chest. Boom. And then where would a rail go? Oh, I'm a god. Just find a way to make sure that that spacing works. And then we'll need to set the rail here. So let's go ahead and uh, control X, delete that. And we'll just, we'll place down all the rails. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, actually, let's bring that, bring that up just a, t just a smidge. Come on, get close enough. There you go. Cause I'd rather most of the, most of the traffic or the intersection come up through here. And then we'll see how much space we need. So I want this to be like our middle point. So let's ignore the first two and then one, two, three, four down there. That's good. And then we'll do control paste. Then that way we have our layout. Place our power poles as well as the chest. Yes, I know that's only four, but we can just copy and paste. Simple as that. Uh, let's add some lights. Boom, finish out the power poles, as well as the chest. Awesome. This might be like the quickest station I've ever built by hand. Boom. Well, that's because I haven't even done the belts yet. The belts is what the takes the longest wow should i should i be a speed runner should i be a speed runner oh look at these hands look at these hands look at these reflexes boom 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 there we go leave a comment down below if you think i should speed run i've never done it before i don't think i'd be good at it but let me know regardless see that See what I did there? I'm becoming a YouTuber. Oh man. I'm letting you guys know you should comment down below. <gasps> Much YouTube. Big brain. All right. So this is pretty much set up. We will go ahead and oh, got something in my eye. Sorry. Um, Rotate this. There we go. Uh, we need another link rotation. Boom. And yes, I want output priority. Because eventually it'll it'll back up and we won't actually need it. All right, let's light this sucker up. Boom. Now we just need to attach everything. And yeah, this is gonna fill up super super slow, but it's also it's we're not gonna consume a whole lot either. Like I don't I don't need I don't need nearly that many iron plates at the at the uranium processing especially now like there's no there's no point uh let's go to let's name this main base um iron plate boom all right we will get in our car are we gonna hmm. these trees are gonna force me to not take a direct route. I can't have any of that. Damn you trees. All right. That's good to go. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. Whoops. There we go. That'll go outbound that way. And then... Ooh, that sucks. Um... I really have to cut across like that? I guess so. You, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. That's our midpoint. Let's add these rails. Some lighting. And then, boom. That's gonna be a cross. That's gonna be a cross. Um, that's gonna be a cross there. Boom. And then we'll add our rail signals at the edge right here. Perfect. All right. So that's good. Let's actually bring down this rail. Might as well. Connect that up. And then let's connect the input here. Ah. Out of rails. You always run you always run out of something that you need right when you need it. Such as the way of Factorio. Uh, let's recycle this iron ore. I don't want it. And let's grab some Mark Mark III assemblers. We'll mark those for recycling and then we'll go back up if I can actually get uranium power up in this episode I think I'd actually freak out all right this is gonna be input so it's gonna be coming in from the right lane as well as outputting or not outputting but coming in from the left lane going north uh chain signal there we go so we got a junction 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 coming down junction that way start of a junction 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 and junction more junction all right uh exit 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 boom so you see you see what we're what we're doing with the with the signals now is that starting to, to make a little bit of sense uh, and then only an iron train will be able to come through here. That's perfectly fine. All right, what's that name? Cool, I want, there, I want the, that. Let's go ahead, go to our train here. Out of train station, main base, iron plate. Uh, we'll go full cargo and then, or, or no, uranium processing, iron plate, boom. Empty cargo. Let's go to the main base and start filling up. All right. That's gonna be good to go. Let's go ahead and start with our um, landfill. Let's start with our landfill. See how much we can actually, actually get. And we'll stuff as much as we can into our car as well. There we go. All right. So let's put all of this trash into our car. We'll take all of this landfill, stuff that into our trash slots, and then take even more. Boom. Now we got a bunch. Hopefully that'll be enough to at least get like one column done. One column of the, of the power plant just to kind of kickstart our nuclear power and raise our power efficiency to 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 speed up our the process even further there's our iron ore train just chugging along Ooh, why did it change colors again let's go to my mod settings paint locomotives yes so i, I want the locomotives to be the color of whatever product they're hauling but i don't want to unpaint the empty trains because then it's just gray and i want it to stay the color and they're not going to be changing materials so makes no sense to unpaint the trains that's a nice little aesthetic mod that doesn't change the gameplay but is nice to look at 
All right, what am I what am I doing here? Oh, I don't need to be here. Uh, let's just check up on this. Oh, we already got 25. Hell yeah. That's going to be up and running in no time. All right. So I know that this is going to be going out this way. So I can just... Boom. Just kind of fill in this middle section here. I don't know why I'm going up. I need to I need to fill in the, the bottom part here. That little island actually helps. Boom. Let's fill in a little bit underneath it. And then let's go back to our blueprints, nuclear. And let's see if that does anything. It does. Okay, so we have a full line right here. Right here. That's what we need. Uh, let's use our grenades. I know you guys, it's a little tough to see. I'm sorry. Hopefully the, the fiery inferno lights up your way, you know? All right. Boom. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't even know that there was something in there. Uh, let's go ahead and repair that okay let's where are my power poles Ooh, am i gonna run out of power poles i better not i better not i think i should be okay e oh! <laughs> perfect that a boy uh, and I didn't bring any other. Gosh. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't bring any other supplies. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I mean, I gotta walk all the way back. Yay. Well, we got more landfill. We can do what we want there. We can fill in some of the other stuff. Fill in a little bit underneath. A little bit above here. Keep everything in line. Nice. That's all good to go. A little dip, dive, or dodge, dip, dive, duck, and dodge, right? Filling these little bits and bobs. Just enough room for like a train to come in and kind of loop around, which obviously won't happen yet because we're not really automating nuclear power just yet. All right, let's let's go ahead place our blueprint back down. There we go. Oh, I didn't even cover up there. Dang it. Um, and in my last blueprint. I had, you know, everything coming in from this side. Obviously, we just change it to this side. Should be fine. And then let's bring everything out of our car. Uh, but put the iron ore and the bullets back in. And then, let's see here. Can I just set up this loop real quick? And then once we expand, we just kind of break the loop. And then push it up. But like these six reactors are only going to be powering this little chunk. And then the next six reactors are going to be going out this way. Because you can't like the reactors have an adjacency bonus. So if you put down two, we have. Oh, we can't really do it, but they have an adjacency bonus. And you see in the bottom right, there's a 0% neighbor bonus. I think it's because they're not even turned on yet. Um, but they will they do get a, a bonus but just by being next to each other so we'll put this down and don't ask me about the ratios i don't know them i'm a pleb i know um <laughs> but yeah i don't know them it's just smarter people than me i figured it out so i just i i've trusted them i've trusted them to to take care of it um 
and then we're going to input here and then we're going to filter out the what was it used up uranium fuel cells okay so these power up on uranium fuel cells and they take a long time to deplete but they have waste and the waste will will go along here and then output here and then we'll have a train kind of going back and forth and they'll go back to our our uranium uh processing plant and there's a way to recycle those uh empty uranium fuel cells back into um back into uranium 238. all right we'll get all the pipes going there we go and then let's put the turbines steam turbines and then this one column will help our power tremendously and that'll that'll help kind of kickstart kickstart the rest of the factories factories needs oh let's uh let's use our landfill see if we can actually is that enough blueprint nuclear Uh, it's a couple more lanes. I don't think it will be. Yeah, it won't. All right, that's fine. All right, let's go back, and we'll ma let's make actually a couple uranium fuel cells. I don't think this is making just yet. What we at? Thirty-five. Yeah, let's take out. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take, and I'm using Z, the Z key to insert only one at a time. So we'll leave the rest of the 30 down there, um, but we'll use five of them here. Oh, they're, it's in my car. There we go. And where's our iron plate? Oh, it's taking so long to load that it's just not bothering. We don't need a full train load. This is going to be enough to last us a long time. Um, why is that going? Oh, wow. That's going all the way around. I probably should have had it a second output. I mean, it's fine. It'll, it'll get there. Um, so that'll go around. And then I also need a way to fuel that train. Ah, sorry. It's the belt. And then let's add some lights. while we wait for our train. Yeah, you see the buffer already filling up and there's a lot in there, but that'll get, that's why we have a big buffer just for the startup and then it'll fix itself later. All right, so here's our iron plate. It's gonna come in. This is gonna build. Uh, let's actually stop. I don't, I don't want it going all the way down. And then this makes 10 uranium fuel cells every craft. So it makes a lot of uranium fuel cells and two of these are overkill for a lot of what we're actually gonna use them for. Let's pick up, actually we won't pick up the 10, we'll wait. Um, let's make sure that, so all this is actually good, good to go and set up. I'm gonna need long power poles, which is fine, we have. And this, this initial, nuclear power setup will get revised just as you know this part gets fleshed out and we'll we'll have a train kind of going back and forth to carry the uranium fuel cells as well as the depleted uranium fuel cells there we go we'll just wait a little bit okay so that's that's good to go so we'll take 36 plus however many that is so we should have 50 perfect 50 is good. And then we'll go all the way to our nuclear reactors. And then power everything up. Um actually I'm not I'm not gonna set this right now. 
is because once you set a filter, it'll only be able to go out there and then it won't be able to loop around. And I need, I need the space for it to loop around to get rid of the, the excess. So put half in there, half in there. So what this will do, this will heat up all the way to a thousand degrees Celsius, right? It'll heat up pretty fast because it's got an adjacency bonus. Oh, here it is. Now that it's actually working. So if I, if you see down here, there's a 100% neighbor bonus. So it heats up quicker, has more power. It's, it's all around mucho bueno. Um, and that power output is in terms of heat. It's how many of these pipes it can heat and then turn into steam and then eventually into steam power. So that's what that's what that megawatts is, right? Um, all right, so that's gonna be heating up. And then once it hits, once the pipe transfers, so it's gonna heat up all these pipes in the line. You see that, you know, the closer you are to the reactors, the hotter you get, but it'll start transferring. And then the pipe, the heats will transfer to here. And once this temperature gets to 500 degrees Celsius, it'll start pumping out, or it'll start boiling the water that's coming through here and pumping out steam. And then that steam will turn the turb, will turn the steam turbines. All right. So that takes about, you know, just a couple minutes to actually start up. Uh, now it's, it's going a little bit slower, but it'll get there. It takes about five minutes to start up. All right. That looks like it'll be it for this video. Let me just kind of double check. Let's see how this is going. Okay, so we almost we almost have a little bit more. There's another one coming in. But yeah, that looks I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, as well as that little notification bell right here. Um, I do stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over on twitch.tv slash betterbeer. So if you have any questions, concerns, comments about how this playthrough is going or any other strategy game that I might play, I do play a variety of them. There is probably the, the best way to get some more one-on-one -on -one interaction with me. I love hanging out with chat. I think we're we're almost to affiliate at the at time of recording. So if you can get a follow over there, that'd be fantastic. I'd really appreciate it. All right, y'all. You have a good one. Stay safe. Peace.